assalamu alaikum today we are going to learn about some uh, expressions and how to factorize them well we have different kinds of expression over here and uh, one by one we are going to factorize them first of all let me tell you something more about uh, or uh, let me give you the revision for the factorization that factorization plays an important role in maths as it helps to reduce the study of complicated expression to the study of simpler expression and uh, in this unit we uh, will deal inshallah taala with different types of factorization of polynomials all right so let's start here is the first expression we are going to factorize and uh, we will learn how to factorize such kind of expression by using simple tips so here uh, is one question in algebraic form so here you can see two of the brackets are being multiplied each with each other and then we have a minus sign and uh, then we have 144 written right you can see and if you just compare it with the compare it with the general equation you will understand that this is ax square over here and sine and then b of x b a b c are some constants and uh, similarly k is as well a constant over here so let's start first of all we will see that we have first two terms are in the two brackets which are same so we are going to suppose them or let them as let's say y equals to x square minus 4 of x so where there was written x square minus 4 of x i have written i have put y just in place and nothing else y minus 5 and now y minus 12 minus 144 is the easiest term easiest expression i have just got just uh, supposing this simple thing now after that we are going to multiply them so we will get y square minus 12y minus 5y minus minus plus 12 5 60 minus 144 then we will get y square minus uh, uh, 17 and uh, y minus 84 okay so this is the final uh, expression we have got in the form of quadratic as you know very well that this is my quadratic I'm going to just simply compare it and get the answer so you can apply over here the middle term formula as well and by that by doing so you will get two of the factors so here I have to consider this 1 and this 84 so I will get 84 and then the factors of 84 will be 21 and 4 which will then afterwards give me my 17 if I just put this my y square minus 21 plus of 4 minus of 84 then I will get minus 17 now here y as well y y minus 21 plus 4 and uh, y minus 21 again then y minus 21 same term will be written first then y left over once and here you got y minus 21 y plus uh, 21 now just move back i assume that y was equals to uh, x square minus 4 of x now where there is a y i will put the value back so it will be x square minus 4x minus 21 and uh, x square minus 4x plus of 4 I hope that you have understood clearly and uh, now what I am going to do is to do the middle term over here again and you can see that x square minus 4 of x plus of 4 so we can do it uh, like this x square minus 4 of x wait plus 2 square and uh, minus 2 a and b so this is my complete formula closed x minus 2 the whole square done 
uh, here I am not going to compose it I am not able to compose it or compress it in the formula so I am going to put a middle term 21 ones are 21 and uh, 7 3 is a 21 x square minus 7x plus 3x minus 21 and uh, here again x x minus 7 plus 3 x minus 7 so uh, from there we have x minus 7 x plus 3 x minus 2 twice you can write it or you can leave it like this it's up to you this is the answer for the first kind of question here the second term second expression we have a constant over here and uh, we have some four of the brackets given to us now if I'm writing the question I can see that x plus 1 x plus 2 x plus 3 x plus 4 minus 120 so I'm now, uh, now going to uh, solve it and I'm in order to solve it I'm going to arrange the first four brackets to make them simplify for me so if I just arrange x plus 1 x plus 4 here in one bracket and then uh, the second bracket x plus 2 left over and x plus 3 so it will give you uh, the simplest answer because 1 plus 4 is 5 and 2 plus 3 is 5 right so uh, observe this thing how to make the factors properly so now next is x square plus uh, 4x plus 1x plus 4 second x square plus 3x plus 2 of x plus 6 minus 120 so here x square plus 5x plus 4 next is x square plus 5x again plus 6 now what you have just observed that the first of the two terms are very similar to each other right here we are going to consider them again I am going to write let a b equals to x square plus 5 of x so where there is x square and 5x written I am going to put simply the a so a plus 4 answer uh, equation expression has been simplified and then a plus 6 now previous method the older one which you have already gone through multiply get the answer 6a 4a 6 for the 24 minus 120 then we'll get a square plus 10a and uh, minus 96 okay 10 minus 4 is 6 and uh, this one is this is 12 11 minus 2 is 9 okay um, a square 96 ones are 96 so here we going to find the roots first of all for 96 then we'll sort it out so 16 times 6 is 96 right so if we subtract 6 from uh, 16 we'll get minus 6 a minus 96 so here the middle term I have applied now I'm going to a plus 16 minus here it will be minus 6 out a minus minus plus and uh, 96 into 6 is uh, 16 into 96 is this will be over here 16 6 16 the 96 right so dupli duplicate term will be written first the common one a minus 6 and where there is a uh, a is coming over here we will put it back the value so x square plus 5 of x plus of 6 x square plus 5 of x minus of 6 this is uh, our final answer so if you see uh, if you can do anything else you can just simplify it you can put a middle term over here again 6 1 is 6 and it will give you x square uh, 6x minus 1x and uh, minus 6 so it will be x plus 6 
माइनस वन कॉमन एक्स प्लस सिक्स ठीक है सो हेयर एक्स माइनस वन एंड एक्स माइनस सिक्स एक्स प्लस सिक्स सॉरी इन फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन राइट द सिंपलर एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव ऑफ एक्स प्लस ऑफ सिक्सटीन एंड द रिमेनिंग वंस दीज टू फैक्टर्स एक्स माइनस सिक्स एक्स प्लस सिक्स एंड एक्स माइनस वन दिस इज योर फाइनल आंसर now this is the last very term and uh, this expression i have for this expression i have written the question as well what i am going to do is to here the terms are not same so we are we cannot let them theek hai na we cannot suppose it so what we are going to do is to simplify them by taking the product first of all or you can apply the middle term as well acha for this question what i have done from here i'm going to explain since it was a similar method similar portion so i have just solved it for you what we have done over here we put the middle term formula got the factors and now the common factors i have written over here after getting the factors i have just simply multiplied them by arranging them first then you can see that a minus b and a plus b is equals to a square minus b square which is the difference of a square formula so after getting this arranging this we will get this a square minus b a square minus b square right both terms now here the story is not ended so what we have done taking the product out of these two fact, uh, factors minus 2x square same remain same then after getting it multiplied what we have got x4 minus 13x square plus 36 minus 2 of x square. So after solving it, 2x square and 13 uh, they were being added over sign of a bigger number. Then again putting a middle term formula. After getting it done, I have written the common first and the le uh, left over afterwards. Then it, again the, this is a square minus b square, a square minus b square. So you know that very well. Four three is a twelve, right? So if we put a square root over here, four will come out as a two, uh, and three remains same. So two root three is the uh, square of twelve. After under root, putting under root. Similarly over here, if we remove the uh, square over here, two and square root will be cancelled because the power of square root is one upon two. If we write it like this, so. Sim, uh, going through with the same rule over here, so root three will be root three square will be three back. So a square minus b square again, uh, a square a plus b a minus b here, and then a square minus b square again a minus b a plus b. Same rule, we'll get the same answer after putting uh, applying the same manner. I hope that you have understood these kind of uh, questions after factorizing them. You will inshallah be able to factorize them properly. and if you have any kind of concern and question or queries please leave a comment for me and i'll sort it out for you inshallah tala in the next video allah hafiz